asking God to help. Holy Spirit, help me mm. with this. I don't want to react this way. I don't want to hurt people I love. I don't want to um, destroy relationship. I, I don't want to react and get become rebellious out of my emotion. And in the end, I'm only hurting myself. And mm. so ask the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit into that emotion. Die. Welcome to season two of Discussions with Derek and Susan. Join in the discussion as we talk about God's economy, leading yourself, managing friendships, and many more topics. Now, let's begin the discussion. Hi, welcome back to our second season of Discussions with uh, Derek and Susan. In this series, we are talking about leading yourselves. And we've, uh, last episode, we talked about having healthy bodies and how we can discipline our bodies so that uh, we can flourish you know, in, in our emotions, in our mindset. So this uh, episode, we're talking about healthy emotions. Derek, how can one have healthy emotions and why is it important? Yeah, I think um, we have to manage our emotions because um, our emotions many times cloud the voice of God in our life. It clouds the the work of the Holy Spirit in our life because our, our soul, which is our mind, our will, our emotions, um, is, is very much attached to our spiritual life. And so we are a spirit. We have a soul, our mind, our will, our emotions. We live in a body. The body's important, but if we're not um, stable in our emotions, if our emotions are clouded, many times we misinterpret uh, God. And I've had many people say, well, I felt that the Holy Spirit was spoken because they felt so strongly about something, but it wasn't God speaking. It was their emotion. And they're not able to distinguish that. And so we need to, to manage our emotions. We all go through disappointments. We all deal with um, frustration, especially if we've come out of abuse and there's been emotional abuse. And um, we can we need healing in our emotions. Um, God heals the brokenhearted, but if not, it, it can cloud us and how we relate to people. And uh, what do we have? We're always dealing with rejection and feel people are against us. Mm. And because of that, we reject people. And because of that, they reject us. And then we feel rejected. And so we have this cycle that we're repeating in our emotions. Um, people who aren't able to manage their emotions and what uh, when they're under pressure, they they blurt out in anger or frustration. And they have right. we have all these responses that are there. It hinders us as being a testimony for God. And again, it clouds us in um, being able to relate to God and being able to be clear um, mm. in that. Our emotions need to be submitted to the word of God. Our emotions need to be submitted to the Holy Spirit in our life that mm. we're walking after the spirit. Our emotions have to come in line. Jesus, we see him in the in the uh, garden before he went to the cross. And He's under such pressure. The Bible says he sweat great drops of blood. And scientists mm. can tell us you can be under such emotional stress that 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 can happen. It's a physical phenomena. Right. And so, but what did Jesus do? He said, Father, take this cup from me. He was expressing his emotion. Mm. But he said, Not my will, but your will be done. He right. began to bring his will in line with the with the Holy Spirit and mm. with the the, you know what he knew in his spirit was right. Mm. And so that's uh, that's something we have to develop. It doesn't come overnight. Someone told me emotions aren't right or wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that. It is what it is. You can't help how you feel, mm -hmm. but you can determine to bring your emotions in sub under subjection to the spirit. You can process and deal with your emotion in the right way. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the healing process too, because so many of us, maybe through how we grow up or through the situations, yeah. we learn to process emotions negatively rather mm. than positively. But if we can, okay, I'm angry right now. Even mm. God gets angry. Mm. People don't understand. The Bible says, and the Lord was angry, but he didn't destroy the planet. Right. He didn't react out of anger, you know, and and start a war, <laughs> mm. you know. He, he dealt with that. We're made mm. in the image of God. And so pro why we should have an anger against injustice. We should mm. have an anger against uh, yeah. you know, pornography and, 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 and child abuse mm. and all of these things that, you right. know, there should be a provoke, but how do we react in that? And we mm. just get angry and shout at each other and call mm. each other names. That's not productive mm. out of that anger, submitting it to God so that we can go through. So I think it's, um, the fruit of the spirit of self-control mm. is the biggest thing that we have to do is learning and growing and learning to have self-control. What is that processing that emotion and not reacting speaking the wrong thing, um, re doing the wrong thing just out of emotion. And now that emotion's gone and then we regret how mm. we reacted. Mm. So, you know, men and women are different as a man. I think it's that um, taking a deep breath. You know, when you're young and you're upset, what, what would your parents say? Hold your breath and count to 10. 
<laughs> you know, and, and process that and then react, you know? Mm. So I think it's um, not just going how we feel, um, but acting ra- rather than reacting. Yeah, it can sound so easy, you know, not acting out how we feel. But if we all can do that, there will be like uh, <laughs> Miss Wall will say there will be world peace. <clears throat> but we understand that is uh, not as easy. And in the further episodes, we'll talk about a healthy mindset and healthy spirit. Uh, however, you know, uh, the soul, which encompasses the emotions, the minds and the will, Uh, is definitely the gateway to the spiritual world. We understand that uh, if we are able to subject our soul, which includes our emotions, our minds, and our will uh, to God, then we will have a victorious Christian life, right? Because the body will have to then subject itself to the soul and the spirit. So I think the battle in the soul realm is so, so violent, yeah. And crucial for believers to understand how to overcome that. Yeah. And as you say, emotions are real. Uh, but where does it where is it rooted from? That is what determines whether it mm. is an emotion that's rooted from a healthy source or not a healthy source. Yeah. Like you say, you can be angry, but where does this anger come from? We can be jealous. Where mm. does this jealous come from? Where is the root? Uh, our God is a jealous God. So jealousy is not bad, but what is it rooted in? And that is, uh, that is where we consider it, whether it's right or wrong. Anger and all that. You know, you can be angry at injustice and that is right. But if you're angry because uh, you felt betrayed, you, you felt, you know, um, angry with people who overlooked you or mistreated you, then where is that root of anger? What, what, uh, where, where did it stem from? Uh, so I think that uh, healthy emotion filters, filters us and uh, either opens the door for us to walk into uh, greater things of God or then or it opens a door to torment Right. So we need to understand how we navigate through all that. So how would you help someone? Uh, you mentioned that, you know, self-control. How would you help someone uh, develop that ability to control themselves? Yeah, I think, you know, and what you're saying is, is the emo- like I mentioned earlier, the emotion or the feeling is not you can't control how you feel. And so on one set, you know, we can try to be spiritual. And I've seen people, they try to shut down their emotions. So I don't want to feel anything. But we are created in that uh, image of God to have a soul and to feel. So that's not what we're talking about. We'll just shut down your mouth. I don't feel anything. I'm not affected by anything. And I, you know, you've seen people even in marriages or in, um, in relationships or in, in ministry, they just shut themselves down to cope. That's not healthy. It's going to come out somewhere. It's like the volcano. You know, you can put a lot of rock on it, but eventually it's going to blow up under pressure. It's going to come out. Um, so, so as you said, how do we process it? I think it's taking a step back, you know, and I've learned, you know, I think I'm better at it now as I've gotten older, but take a step back. Why am I feeling this way? Where is this coming from? And processing, like you mentioned, what is the root of it? When people have an anger problem, why there's been such frustration and they've learned it, learned that to get rid of the frustration, they blow up in outbursts of anger. And they've not learned how to process it. So, okay, why am I so angry about this? Maybe I'm stressed. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm hangry. I'm not really angry. I'm hangry. I need to eat. And, and, and being able to process and Holy Spirit, what's going on in my heart? You know? And I think I would say processing that, looking, why, where is this coming from? And then asking God to help. Holy Spirit, help me mm-hmm. with this. I don't want to react this way. I don't want to hurt people I love. I don't want to... Um, destroy relationship i i don't want to react and get become rebellious out of my emotion and in the end i'm only hurting myself and Mm. so ask the holy spirit invite the holy spirit into that emotion whether it's fear uh whether it's anger whether it's frustration whether you're feeling rejected Mm. and and kind of if i can pick us take a step back okay god god i give this to you god i don't want to respond this way and i think in doing that god comes and he's a comforter and the Holy Spirit comes and maybe you need to process that. One great tool is, um, you know, and 
and I, you know, I'm a person who I talk a lot. I, you know, I pray, talk, but, but sometimes journaling, writing down and writing a letter, God, I'm angry and, and pouring out that emotion to God and inviting the Holy Spirit to come in. That's part of the process because we've got to deal with our emotion. We've got to deal with our hurts and we don't want to because there's pain there. And so we don't want to process the emotion, but we've got to deal with the pain. Part of healing is the pain. If you go to a doctor and it's all festered and there's pus and and bacteria, what do they do? They cut it and it's painful, but they got to go back to that wound and get the, get the bad stuff out before it can heal properly. You can't just cover it up. And so inviting the Holy spirit in, I think journaling coming before God, you know, in prayer, and saying, God, change me, help me. Where is this coming from? To get the understanding, to under, you know, and then healing comes in. So it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. God just takes it away. But we learn to recognize why we're reacting the way we are. God begins to help us. And we begin to walk out and learn new ways to process emotion, deal with frustration. Um, if we're tired, hey, let's call it a day and go home. <laughs> Don't keep going when 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 there's tension that's there. And learning how to be mature in that and um, dealing with our emotion, managing our emotion, not right. shutting it down, not not saying it's not impo- important, but, but processing it with God. That's kind of what I kind of do. I see a wind blowing on the nations of the earth stirring the hearts of men and bringing refreshing as it continues to blow it gains momentum and becomes an unstoppable torrent that sets things in order in the earth the sleeping giant is awakening through the power of the holy spirit a people the church activated in the gifts and demonstration of the spirit altars are filled with repentant hearts longing for a move of god i see a great awakening has begun So the importance of us dealing with our emotions, uh, the unhealthy ones we're talking about, is to really discover what is in our foundation. And why do we need to do that? Because every foundation is important. A foundation, if it's not strong, you cannot build a, a tall building. Likewise, in our lives, if our foundation is weak, we can never really achieve great things because great things requires great tenacity mm. and requires a great, a, a strong heart. It requires a, a mind that is strong. So all these things are very important. So the key is to discover. And uh, there are things that will happen in our lives uh, that will trigger us. Uh, and there will be people that will trigger us. And um, they, whatever they've done, you know, may be wrong also, but we always ask, what is God wanting to highlight here? And it is always about us. God loves us so much. He wants to show us what is in our foundation uh, and why is the emotion. Why do we feel that way? Mm-hmm. So understand that emotions, uh, we may feel a lot of emotions, like you said. Emotions are not, when we feel all these wrong emotions, it doesn't mean that the emotions is bad, but it does mean that sometimes all these emotions are not uh, are not coming from a healthy place. Yeah. So we need to examine it. We must not uh we we must not focus on what are people doing and saying and they may be uh and and you may be right that they do have prejudices or they do have issues against you but we can't change people we can only change ourselves so the key is to look into our own foundation and see what is God highlighting there because when God you know God hides a matter because you're we are not ready to deal with it but in the right time he highlights it because there's great things that he wants to bring you to. There's a next season he wants to build a str- uh, something on your foundation. So that's why we need to examine our emotions and learn uh, to address it. Yeah, and I think you know even on the positive, we have uh, emotions of joy and happiness and all of that. It's it's a great blessing. But you can also be the extreme in what you just want to live in this euphoria 
uh, of just how you felt on vacation, you know, <laughs> but you got to work, you got to do other stuff. So, so even on the positive emotions, don't be addicted to, uh, do, don't to that, to the positive emotion. Don't be limited by the negative emotion, but submitting your emotions to God's will, to God's purpose, to the spirit of God and how God's called us to walk in life. And so we can enjoy our emotions. Emotions come and they do let us know that there's hurt and there's maybe areas that aren't healthy there, but let's not live for the euphoria of the high of emotions. Let's not be sucked down into the low and the negativity of emotions but submit our life to God. And, you know, sometimes we got to say, stop it. I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling, low. no, I'm going to be happy today. This is the day that the Lord has made. It's it, the sun's out. I got a lot of things going and encouraging ourselves in the Lord and bringing our emotions in. David, you know, the Psalms are a powerful illustration of that where we're submitting. Sometimes I don't feel like preaching. Sometimes I don't feel like counseling, you know. Uh, sometimes we don't feel like doing videos and we got to come in. But what do we do? We bring our emotion into what, what God has by an act of will and say, look, this is the day the Lord has made. This is what God's called me to do and count the blessing. And then when you begin to make that decision, your emotions will come out in line. Joy That's does maturity. come. Happiness does come. And so we're not limited. A child just reacts. But spiritual maturity is where we can bring our emotions into subjections in that. If we need to get healed, get healed. Take responsibility for your healing. In the positive side, don't just be living just for the high of emotion, the euphoria of how we feel and, and the hype. But but having that stability, we enjoy the emotion, emotion, fear. You know, a spirit of fear is bad, but is fear a bad thing? No, it keeps us from jumping off a cliff. Mm. <laughs> it hits yeah. us, keeps us from touching the stove because we know there's pain and, mm. and that emotion hits us of, you know, it's not a negative thing when it's submitted and we know how to process it healthily. So that's where the balance is that uh, we need to be balanced in that, be able to ex, uh, experience all these emotions, yet we are, uh, it's coming from a healed place, it's coming from a restored place, it's coming from a place where we are fully aligned with God. Because if our emotions are, are not healthy, and I'm, I'm saying emotions in the full range, yeah. right, uh, are not healthy, what happens is then uh, we cannot be, uh, we cannot hear God correctly. Yeah. We cannot sense God correctly. Even, you know, when we uh, give a prophetic utterance, it is also this mixture in it because prophetic utterance also involves feeling what God is feeling. Mm -hmm. But sometimes prophetic people can feel what they are feeling. There's mixture. And yep. then there's mixture. So yep. all these things are destructive. Or for people who are very led, they are thinkers, they are, uh, you know, uh, they are thinkers. So what happens is they rely much on their thought, but their feelings are shut down. So it, it doesn't come out right either. So I think there must be a balance of all these things. And healthy emotions are definitely the key to the key to uh, spiritual breakthrough. Um, so we need to learn how to manage it. And if you do, you know, experience some of these emotions and and like what Derek said, you're trying, you're presenting it to God and you're still finding it hard to overcome it. There are help available. There are ministries. There are people who are skilled, equipped um, uh, to be able to help you look into your foundation and see where is where are the roots what are the the things that you've gone through that opened the door, which is the source of all these things that that uh, that you are feeling? Go get help, and uh, let's not delay in being restored, so that we can be a better instrument in the hands of God to establish the kingdom of God in our generation. Beautiful, and you know we could do a whole series just on dealing with emotions, but um, talking about the whole person, and maybe we'll do that at another time. But yeah. If you're struggling, as Pastor Susan said, get some help. There's help for you. You're not alone. Uh, everyone goes through trauma, and, and we all have a past. We all have a story. But in God, there's hope. There's healing. Mm -hmm. We can be healthy. God wants us to prosper in our soul, in our mind, in our emotions, in our will. We'll see you in the next episode as we continue the journey on leading yourself. <laughs>